All right, coming in at number five this week. Things get a little bit messy, but keep your eye on Stitches. Watch as he hooks a noob rack right as right wing teleports onto him and traps them both in that corner, effectively disabling both of them while their team wails on the blue team. And now, watch, he's gonna turn around and eat Tychus and bring him into the little death trap too, all the while bringing down Brightwing. Now, Tychus is completely trapped. He's done for. He's trying his best to do his damage, but there's no way he's gonna be able to take anyone out. At number four this week, we see the blue team bearing down heavily on the red team's gates with a Garden Terror as they try to bring down as many forts as they can. Jaina explodes out of the Garden Terror, but Illidan is right on her tail and wrecks her, but look at that movement! Dodges the Ring of Frost with that Metamorphosis as well as killing Illidan. He jumps on Diablo, but disengages as he predicts the Nova Snipe and cleanly dodges that. He evades Thrall's nuke as he continues to bounce back and forth between blue team hero to hero, and man, they just can't catch this guy as he bounces around and gets the mega kill on the blue team. Absolutely beautiful movement by that Illidan. Alright, coming in at number 3 this week, we see the red team and the blue team disengaging after what seems like a messy fight. It seems like the blue team won, but the red team is free now to capture the temples because the blue team is has an exposed core. They have to go back and defend it because they've got no fortifications left and they're really low. They cannot get wiped out here, otherwise it's game. This lets the red team though capture these temples that are so strong and now it's a race against time. If the blue team doesn't do anything, they're gonna be dead real soon. As their core is dropping lower and lower, now the blue team wants to contest at least one of these towers. So they're able to capture this middle tower back from the red team, but the top tower is still being owned by the red team. And that ETC standing there is just destroying the blue team's tower. And man, look at this, their health is literally 1%, one shot away from death. And if they can't capture this tower away from ETC, if they can't win this fight up here, it's over. If they even leave the platform, it's over. But somehow they managed to clear the red team from this platform literally a second away from death. And now the tables have completely turned. The tower is now destroying the red team's core. Jaina tries to backdoor, but it's a race against time. Lili is going to the top temple to try to contest. Does the temple even have enough shots left to finish off the red core? Because otherwise, red team Jaina is going to be able to finish off the blue core by herself. Oh my gosh, the blue team did it. What an unbelievable end to this nail-biter game. The blue team was literally one second away from death, and they managed to turn things around and instead destroy their opponent's core. And at number two this week, we see the red team now capturing the golem. They're about to win this game. This golem will be the nail in the coffin for the blue team because their core is already so low and there's no one here seemingly to contest this. But now watch this. There's something on the ground. What is that? False that is actually flying into this. Perfectly times it to capture the golem cam. Uses the gust to blow away the red team and now barrel rolls away with the perfect golem capture steal. Coming in at number one this week, we see the blue team preparing for a golem capture. And with this, the blue team is going to be able to finish off the red team. As you can see, their fortifications are down in the top lane and the bottom lane. And there's a sergeant hammer orbital right on the middle and the core. But Stitches has another idea. He's going to walk in around and wait for the perfect chance. He runs in and gorges one, two, three, and four while capturing the beacon, denying the golem camp from the blue team. And now Brightwing teleports in and helps Stitches wipe out the blue team oh my gosh what is even happening how is this stitch is doing so much damage now there's only one player left on the blue team left and he gets cleaned up now the red team was losing this game and now with this golem they're gonna go for a death push they're gonna go all in on the push and try to bring this game back and now it wouldn't be number one if they didn't do it so spoiler alert that stitches four man gorge into golem capture steel spearheads the red team from a disadvantage into victory Alright, and with that, thanks for watching HOT's Hottest Plays of the Week. If you have a play that you would like to be featured in an upcoming video, go ahead and send the replay to HOT's Hottest Plays at gmail.com. Thanks for watching and tune in next week for more HOT's Hottest Top Plays of the Week.